Um, so now this is... Six. This is six? Oh, I'm happy with my number six because it works out so well. Uh, number six for me is Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Oh, we gotta talk about that then. We do. Give me a second. So we'll talk about yours and then I'll mention my six. Okay. Um, so Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. The this first, movie... What? The first anthology. It was, the first so. anthology. Um, this movie took the risks that I didn't oh, know I God. wanted from yeah. Force Awakens. Like, it took this movie for me to really, like, wrap my head around Force Awakens' flaws. Again, love Force Awakens, love Star Wars. Yeah. But yeah, I meant what I said. Could have taken more risks. You love something and it can have flaws. Yes, Hook's my favorite movie. Look Very flawed movie. The Last Jedi is the one I hate, I hate the most on here, and it's still Star Wars. Uh, the Star Wars universe felt more expanded than ever when this came out, and yes. legit added a lot of weight to the other films of the franchise. Yes. Um... Also, that Darth Vader scene was uh, <laughs> one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I have lulled myself to sleep with that scene many a time. It's weird that you could sleep with that scene. It is a little, uh, little weird, mm. but, you know, I'm a psychopath. Fantastic. Sorry, can't really say glad, that. Glad, I shouldn't say that. Glad but, we're partnering up for a channel. Yeah, I just, my mouth was open with just this huge grin on my face in that theater. It was... Oh, well, it was I a mean, delight. As much as I love the originals, Vader was never... Com Combat-wise, a badass. They couldn't do that. Exactly. So now you get to see him in his element kind of thing. Yeah. You get to see the horror of Vader. Yeah. And just because you, like, just because you rewatch movies with Vader in them, uh, even though he can't do it at that, it almost adds more fear because you're like, oh, now I know what he can do. Yeah. It's even creepier that he's quiet and silent. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I have a problem with Kylo Ren sometimes. So, but... Yeah, that's all I have to say on um, Rogue One. Rogue One, again, I didn't have expectations because it was the first one. So that one I didn't go in with expectations because I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to sit and just see stuff. And I, like I said, I've only seen it the one time in theaters. I need to go back and see it again. But it again, it was just it was fun. It was especially because I felt so much about Force Awakens that it wasn't very Star Wars esque, as in like George Lucas Star Wars. This one felt. Star Wars. I will say Solo and uh, Rogue One also have made the Stormtroopers feel more threatening. Yes, they absolutely have. Done, have. They've done a great job of adding some fear with the Stormtroopers. But uh, I do. I want to watch it again, probably this weekend. Who knows? Cool. But I don't know. I just, I really, like I said, I don't have that much to say on it because I only saw it the once, but uh, the characters were all great. It was, the ending was sad, but you knew it was coming. Like, in your heart of hearts, you knew. I kind of didn't. I was um, shocked that they let all of the protagonists die. I was happy in the fact that, oh man, Disney took, wow, that does not seem like something they would have done. Mm -hmm. So that was like, props to you for, for pulling that off. But, because I think there was an alternate ending where they didn't. So I'm pretty sure escaped. Kathleen Kennedy was the one that said, no, they can all die. Yeah. They should oh. all die. Oh, was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I could be wrong on that. Uh, what number are we on now? Now I have to do my six. Oh, right. Which is actually number six. Return of the Jedi. Hmm. All right. And now we're on number five, then? We sure are. Number five. Return of the Jedi. <laughs> All right. That's... So we've done Force Awakens, Rogue One, Solo, and Return of the Jedi. Yeah. At and the Attack end, of the Clones. At the Sorry. end, we'll just go down our list so people can actually hear them. Sure. I'm just saying which ones we've actually discussed. Okay. Right. Uh, um, who talks first? You talk first, I talk first. Are we just going to do that every time? Now that I know it bothers you, we are. No, that one doesn't know, because I don't mind that one as much. Oh, okay. It's the one that I hated. Well, thanks to you, they don't have to sit through that anymore. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, as a kid, this was... Well, as a kid, there was literally only three of them. But, which is crazy. I know. <laughs> Um, this was one of my favorites. Yeah? Just because it was the one, I don't know, it seemed more, most kid-friendly, I guess, at the time, with the, the Ewoks, and, which Ewok backward is Wookiee. No, it's not. Rearranged. Shut up. Whatever. Right. You know what okay. I mean. It makes sense in my head. But, I don't know, I just always loved that beginning. I actually used to pretend, like, like, because, like, on the beaches, there's sand, and pretend there were Sarlacc pits. I used to, like, play Star Wars, you know, play pretend. But... I've always hated that phrase. Play pretend? Play pretend, Why? yeah. Oh, I'm going to go play pretend. Why? Just seems repetitive. Playing, playing sports. Seems repetitive. But you can play sports. You're not pretending. You're playing the sport. Can't believe we're getting into this. Whatever. Uh, 
the first time you see Luke's green lightsaber, which I know the story behind it, but it's yeah. still cool to see a brand new lightsaber. Uh, the Jabba's palace is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, even when they meet the Ewoks, a lot of people still cringe, but I like I like it. I, I think I don't, a lot of these are just gonna be down to they're fun. Yeah, for me. that's fine though. That's what Star Wars is meant to yeah. be, guys. Star Wars is just meant to be fun. Um, okay. I will admit, as a kid, though, when you first see Anakin on Mast, you're like, ew. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know. Ew. Um, but, like, you're old. <laughs> she's actually only, like, 43. Um, okay, Return of the Jedi. I have a question about the end, but we'll let you finish first. Okay. I want to see what you think. Fantastic start. Beautiful and emotional ending, especially mm -hmm. if you've watched Clone Wars and Rebels. Oh, yeah. Especially if you've watched Rogue One. Um... Damn it! The, the middle? middle really, really drags for me. Like, when I think about Return of the Jedi, I just... Uh, when they're getting close to Endor, I enjoy it once it's actually on there, but every time they're actually getting close to Endor, I'm like, ah, damn it. Endor. And plus... The forest moon of Endor. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm, Which uh... is also named Endor. I could have done with more Luke and Vader, less Endor. Instead, we got more Endor, less Luke and Vader, which makes sense at the time because, you know, it takes a lot to build a lightsaber. It takes a it takes time to do a lightsaber these days, but, yeah, that's that's all. I still really enjoy uh, C-3PO's storytelling with the sound effects. That is a lot of fun. That's a fun little scene. And then they didn't change it at all in the Lego Star Wars game. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> the same. Um, thoughts about Hayden Christensen as a Force Ghost replacing... Uh, Sebastian Shaw. Sebastian Shaw gets to still show up as unmasked Vader. True. So I'm okay with it. With Anakin's eyes. I'm okay with... Oh, with, with Hayden's eyes. Is that Hayden's eyes? Mm -hmm. I actually didn't know that. That's they replaced a, the eyes, and they added a little bit of his face in there. That's it's, a fun it's fact. It's kind of a mix. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy that, the, that Hayden Christensen it is in there. It makes... A lot of people are like, oh, you're ruining my Star Wars. But literally, imagine if the people that, for the people that, you know, didn't grow up with just the first trilogy, the original trilogy, suddenly you 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 know Anakin, and all of a sudden this happens, you, half the people are like, who the hell is that? Right. <laughs> so, you know, you ha it, now that we've done the prequels, you have to have some sort of continuity. And it makes sense to me. I like it. Yeah. I have zero problem with it. I like it. Because again... I, I can't imagine, because you showed Liz one through, where did you, did you show I all? did machete order. You did machete order. I machete ordered the right. hell out of Star Wars. But was she, because I want to know, okay, so for you. What was her reaction? Because it's, it's one, it's four or five prequels, six? Here's how I showed it to her. Uh, four or five. Okay. One, two. The entire Clone Wars, Clone okay, Wars that's series. Fine. So imagine if she had gotten to Jedi and all of a sudden saw that Force Ghost and it's not Hayden Christensen after spending all of those episodes and mm -hmm. show episodes and then there's 50-year-old Sebastian Shaw. Like, yeah. I think it'd be a little... Is that, is that Anakin? That, that's not Anakin. That, oh my God, that's Anakin. Well, with the version that we saw, she cried. Yeah. She was so happy to see Hayden Christensen Exactly. Back. Yeah. So well, it, I'm going to make sure we're still rolling. That's, I was going to ask you to do that. Oh, yeah. So, okay. I'm on number four now. Uh, so, I'm on number five. Okay, what's your number five? What's your number five, Mike? A New Hope. Really? Yeah. Holy crap. Which, if you've been following along and knowing what, we've already, what I've already mentioned, <laughs> I'm going to get some shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> huh. Okay, and I was thinking about this because I told you this hurts me. Mm -hmm. So when we so get number to five that, is a new hope. Number five is a new hope. Okay, well I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be a while before we get to that. It's gonna be a while. Before, it's gonna be a while before we get to my number eleven. <laughs> thanks to you. That's true. I can't um, believe we're gonna talk about that. When do we talk about that? I know, right? God. Okay, my number five. So your number four. Number four. Well, you know, here I'm gonna give you almost a little bit of an out. Number four for me. Is Empire Strikes Back? Me too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Us well, too. it is. <laughs> we have more Star Wars in common than I thought. <laughs> so literally, it's blank, blank, blank Empire, blank, blank, blank Rogue One. No, Solo. Never mind. I thought we had a pattern going. Never mind. Um, yeah. Okay. Empire well, Strikes I thought I Back. might get a lot of hate for having Empire so like uh, 
Did that just break? Yeah. I need a new pen from Samsung. Oh no. Huh. How? That duct tape's looking real good right now. <laughs> It's so tiny! Oh. Okay, so I guess we're uh, gonna talk about Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, we are. Uh, and I'm gonna order this. <laughs> Damn it! I've seen people have these problems. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, that's neat. Alright, well, okay. What just turned on? Someone turned on their sink. Okay. Or, or toilet. They're oh. flushing. I don't know. It's water. Okay. It's pipes. Okay. So Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back. Um, for me, Empire is one of the best of, I have it, it's the best, I literally have, by the way, in a row, Empire, New Hope, Return of the Jedi, I have the original trilogy. Huh. Um, but it's definitely the best of the original trilogy. Um, I think I've seen it so much at this point that I love it. Again, it's, I mean, it's number four, it's up there. But, um, I think it's, I think it's one of the best, if not the best sequels of all time. Especially when you have something like A New Hope, and it was amazing, because usually you worry about the sequels, and sequels come in, they're not as good, and you're kind of Got like, very mixed eh. reviews when it came out, though. Yes. Brian Johnson needs to shut his trap, though. He wasn't the one that said that. No, but do you hear what he said about it? If Empire came out today, people wouldn't like it. Like, get the hell out of here, Ryan. I kind of believe him. I don't, I don't at all. I do. But, shut up, you don't count. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, for me, uh, it's classic. It's really good. It's one of the best. Look at that! Of you can't time. get any more classic <laughs> than Empire. <laughs> um, I actually do not have much to say on Empire. The only I'd say Empire's biggest flaw mm -hmm. as a standalone film, it's kind of what we saw with some of these the sequels. It's it, you can't watch it alone because you then it literally ends on a cliffhanger. Right. So you have whereas A New Hope you can watch alone. Even Jedi you could almost watch alone. Because it ends. Empire, you you can't just watch it. And then, unless you really just feel like not knowing how the ending happens. But I'd love to show uh, Return of the Jedi to someone for the first time. Like, that's their first Star Wars movie. Interesting. But it'd have to be someone I hate. Because <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that to someone. So I'll think of someone. But yeah, no, it has to be... Maybe I can glue this. <laughs> 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 It, yeah, it's that's the, that's its biggest flaw is it it's not a standalone movie right at all. Okay. That's it. Okay, Luke facing Vader for the first time. Amazing. Okay, it's one of the greatest fight scenes in cinema history. It is, but and there is so much happening both physically and emotionally. Yeah. It's perfection. I, the biggest flaw of that part is sometimes when he's throwing stuff at Luke, when he's force pushing like the boxes at Luke. Uh -huh. Some of the kinds are kind of silly. But it looks like, eh, and he just kind of gets hit, and it looks like it's just a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. they, they, there's a fan video where they remade Obi-Wan versus Vader. I saw that. And they brought that back. Um, they made it pretty badass in that one. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Um, so I guess we're on to Number my... Number three. We're on to my top three now. No, your top, both of our top threes then. Are yeah. we? Yeah. Okay, cool. Number three for me, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Hey! Really? Yeah, really. Huh. So I have Revenge of the Sith and Return of the Jedi in their actual spots. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, Return, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith is mine, too. Interesting. Uh, it's great. It's uh, I think it's probably one of the best ends of the trilogies. Mm -hmm. Like, it ends... So, I mean, obviously, it starts the next trilogy. Right. But, like, after coming... like It's a satisfying end to it. It's a, a very prequel. satisfying end. And I think it's definitely one of the best, best prequels. Um, I, I mean, out of the prequels, Shut it's up. definitely the best prequel. <laughs> it's at least the top three. <laughs> That's, that is true. And for me, it's I'm in one wrong. of my top three Star Wars. But it's, it's so dark. It was the first PG-13 Star Wars. Yes, it was. And so it was just dark, and it was... You got to see... Even, even the fact that we knew... What was going to happen, in a way, like we didn't know mm -hmm. exact details, but we knew Anakin was falling and everything like that. You know, Luke and Leia were going to be, actually I didn't know they were going to be born on film. I wasn't <laughs> sure. We were getting to the end, I'm like, are you going to show it? She better get uh, sad real soon. Yeah. So, uh, but even though you knew, you're st I was still on the edge of my seat watching and I just, 
You know, I remember being in that theater. I walked six or seven miles to get to the theater to see that at midnight release. Worth it. Yeah, worth it. Uh, shout out to West Shore Mall in Tampa. You're probably not doing too well right now because of the COVID-19. They also got rid of their stairs. So. Oh. And it's hard to get up there. <laughs> Escalator. Okay. Um, uh, Revenge of the Sith. It's on here partially uh, due to my love of Clone Wars. And I love the name. It's Revenge kind of, of a Sith. throwback to the Revenge of the Jedi. Yes, it is. When Jedi was. Mm -hmm. um, also, my God. Yes. That's... Don't do that. Not on our channel. Uh, um... In my opinion, this is the the best space battle in Star Wars. Is the oh, battle God, the of opening? Coruscant? Yes. Yeah. Where the the the, the opening cr uh, crawl has just gone out. The music starts. Oh my God! And it's you like just fifteen minutes, isn't it? Yes. It's kind of long. Um, and then you just have this slow, like obviously it's all digital, but this digital one shot. They didn't film that in space. They sure didn't. What? That's a fun fact for all of you. That's my number eleven now. This that dropped. This incredible uh, one shot that just ends yeah. right on uh, that just ends with Anakin and R two. Mm -hmm. uh, it's oh god, I love it. That's um, so yeah, this is probably the Star Wars movie with the most weight to it. Oh god, yeah. Um, there's a lot going on in this film, and a million little pieces that can be drawn from all the other sections of the universe, including Clone Wars, which I know hadn't released at the time, but. Um, Again, only improved rewatches. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of weight that this film packed into it, and there is so much going on. Like, I mean, I would say that Revenge of the Sith is almost the heart of all Star Wars lore. Like, if you want to talk about how big and packed Star Wars it, lore it is... it ends one trilogy while starting another. It's literally right there. And then it's also ending not only a trilogy, but an entire series, and also almost starting another one, Rebels. It, it ended an era. Yeah, it does. It's one of the most important, yes. lore-wise. Obviously, A New Hope is the most important, because then it wouldn't, right. you know. Lore-wise, I'd say it's the most important film. Okay, so yes, it has some cringy dialogue and poor acting, sure. but it also delivers from start to finish on the entertainment value. Yeah. In my opinion, there really isn't a dull moment, and it's just non-stop fun. And then there's depression for a little while, but then the fun begins again. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. Okay, so again. here's a here's a little story, uh, and you know this story. Okay. Like I said, I machete ordered the crap out of Star Wars when I was showing my girlfriend for the first time. Yeah. So I went um, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, going back, treating it like a giant flashback after the whole Vader says "I am your father" to Luke. Um, which is, no, I am your father. Not Luke, I am your father. Whatever, not important. No, Luke, I am your biological dad. Perfect. Thanks. I'm going to redub that with that. Uh, <laughs> so, you go back, then you watch Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones. I showed her all six seasons of The Clone Wars. It's a shame we didn't have this, le uh, this last season at the time. Um... Then we get to... Uh, but that would have thrown you off. It would have. Because doesn't it take place during... I don't know Order yet. 66? I'm, I'm a little... I think it does. Okay, it well... It would be really hard to show it. It would be. So you finish... You have to show... You have to pause the pause movie. Pause the movie. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, we get to Revenge of the Sith. And then Order 66 happens. Mm. Now when Order 66 happens, Order 66 is sad. Because a lot of Jedi die. What? But... <laughs> If you watch the Clone Wars, you know everything. You've now connected with You have connected Jedi. with this. So basically what I am showing her now is a series finale <laughs> where all of her favorite characters are killed. The protagonist has turned to the dark side. Isn't that just Game of Thrones? It, it is. <laughs> it basically is. We had to pause the movie. I'm not making this up. I swear to you. She cried for two hours straight. Oh my god. We couldn't finish the movie for a while. Hey, you because could have watched it was just, season seven when he paused we, the movie. Exactly. It was just, it was too sad for her. Damn. Um, and then anyways, after that, I showed her all of Rebels. I like Rebels. I do too. I think it's fun. Then I showed her Rogue One, and then we watched New Hope again. You should have had her do research on the Oh, character. we also watched Solo. You should have had her do research into the characters of Rogue One so she could have grown even more attached to them. I know, right? <laughs> then you watch uh, M uh, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, this time with a no, uh, more knowledge about it. Then you watch uh, <laughs> Return of the Jedi. Again, Machete ordered the crap out of this, and I don't regret right. any of it because 
Uh, she went into this not liking Star Wars, like, really at all. She is now one of the biggest Star Wars fans I have ever met. Her favorite character is Ventress. Okay. Yeah. A sign. She I mean, I mean that's a that's a sign. I'm Did not a true see... fan, but a sign of a dedicated fan. Did you fan. see her lightsaber at Doc Ondar's? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we held it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs>